So sometimes, um, you know, setting up a project and things, you come across something that you have a hard time understanding. So I wanted to make a small video here to explain how to set up um, a new ASP.NET Web Forms project with ASP.NET Identity. And I don't want to deal with migrations. I just want to use the database that I already have uh, configured. So I'm going to try and show how to get it working with a new project that's pretty much empty. Okay, so this will be... I'll just name a new project here and uh, let's see, we'll do web ASP.NET web application create new git repository, why not? Okay, push OK. And here we'll just do empty, I believe. Okay. So let's go ahead and add identity packages by going to the NuGet packages. And we'll search here for identity. Okay. And let's do which ones. So then do this one, the, install this one. Okay. And then do this one. The ON, do that one. And then what we want to do is uh, Owen host. This one right here. Install that. So now uh, I would go into the web.config and add. Oops. This, you need to add in the connection string. So, let's see, why is that like that? Okay, this needs to go above that. Like that. Okay. Okay, so this is the connection string to the database that I have set up already with identity framework uh, tables and the users and everything. And it's just uh, using a local database here. So paste that in, save it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just do a sample um, register page. So for example, if you want to register a new user, add um, a web form register. And these are just samples. So then you would take and put something like this here, like a little form for register, like this, okay. And then um, double click on the register to make a new event here, and then paste in the code like this. So I'm not really sure, I'm really new to this too, but um, if you alt enter, that'll give you the little thing here to tell you, hey, you need to use this namespace here. And so it added in here at the top. And do that again for user manager. And that should work. So then let's go ahead and try to um, register a user. So control Shift W should bring it up. Okay, so here it has an error. 
So this means I need to add something. Let me go ahead and show you. So right click on the project, go add, and then new item. And up here you can search for Owen. I guess that's what it's called. And we just want to start up that CS. Okay, now in here you have to put a little bit of code. Um, so something like this to configure it. There we go. And then this is going to need, um, you can click this here or push Alt to enter. You want to use this namespace. And this one, identity. There we go. So I'll save that. Control Alt Enter. Control Shift W. Let's bring this up and take a look and see if that fixed it. Okay. So let's try registering a new user. Um, how about Warren T? And then password register. Let's see if it works. Okay, user warranty was created successfully. So let's see if we can find that in the database here. New query. Okay, so here we got a new user, and there's the password hash, security stamp, everything here. So, that looks like it worked, and then let's see, how do we do a login page? Let's try doing that. So, right click, add, new web form, and we can just call this the login. Okay. Paste some code in like this. And then go into here, do Let's see, log in, log out. Um, let's just double click on, um, let's double click on the page here. Okay, page load. We're gonna do this here. Um, if not, paste, post back. Then we're gonna do add to events here, or methods. Okay, so we need to fix this, so Alt-Enter should give us a namespace helper here. Don't use this one. Okay. Security. Okay, so there's the sign-in, sign-out. And then we have all of this here. Login form. Here. Okay. Sorry, so let's go ahead and test that. We're in T. Oh, it worked. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, and I also have another thing set up where uh, there's this other one you can do the project and it looks like um, has everything you would ever need. Like this other identity thing, if you go into the new project, 
you can do this here and then do the web forms with authentication like that. But I didn't like it because it just fills up the whole thing with so much junk. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, so this one here, I mean, it's very few files in comparison. So good to go. All right.